Today, everyone, today we're going to talk about another indicator called weighted close. We are looking at gold chart and we are on daily charts. Okay, today again I'm using eToro Pro Charts. Let me add the indicator. We go here to study two. Then on the bottom here you can see weighted close. The period I'm going to just uh, leave it as 14 and remember color black. So create. You can see the weighted close here. The weighted close indicator is an average of each day's price, but why we say weighted close? It gets its name from the fact that extra weight is given to uh, the closing price. So to understand that better, uh, look at this uh, here. You can see uh, this is the formula for the weighted close indicator, uh, which is uh, close times 2 plus high plus low and divide by 4. Uh, I'm going to talk about signals, but I need to add some other indicators to this chart first. Just uh, bear with me here. Okay, we back to this chart. I'm going to add to moving average. To the chart. Uh, just before I add this, some people using this uh, with just normal uh, line chart because you know this uh, will show the average price as well. And on line chart, you know, uh, we're missing on high lows and many other uh, uh, numbers. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna teach you how to use this. You know, I'm just explaining one strategy. You can use this indicator. It looks very ugly at the moment, but let me add a couple of moving averages. Uh, the first moving average I'm going to add is we leave the red color, but I'm going to change this to the same period with the uh, weighted close indicator. Then the field, I'm going to choose weighted close, okay? So the moving average plots on this indicator. Uh, yep, create, okay. So you can see the weighted close as red and, sorry, uh, at black and the moving average red, okay? Uh, now we can use the crossings, okay? Just let me put up back what we had before here about the signals. The signals, you know, in an uptrend only go long when the weighted close crosses to above the moving average, okay? And in a downtrend only go short when the weighted close crosses to below the moving average. So that's very similar to using two moving averages. Uh, in that case, you know, if you're using the crosses, the trigger will be, uh, the signal will be uh, the crossing of the shorter over the longer period moving average. But on here, uh, the weighted close will cross above in an uptrend, is a signal to buy, and when the weighted close crosses below the moving average, would be the sell signal in an, in a downtrend. I'm just uh, emphasizing on these two because we don't want to go against trends. Always we go with the direction of the trend. Okay? The trend is our friend. Back to the chart. Okay. Now we can see the signals. And okay, here you buy signal, here buy signal, but uh, the trend. To understand the trend better, you can add the 
moving averages because we are working on daily charts I normally use uh, moving averages like 200 um, the color let's go blue for 200 and I'm gonna just put this one again on the result of this create and the next moving average I'm gonna add is 50 and the color I put as green and again the field will be the result of weighted flows okay great now we can see from here let me just make this a bit bigger from here we are in an uptrend okay because the green which is the 50 ma crossing crossing above the uh, blue which is 200 MA. okay just bear with me here uh, we adding a couple of lines to the chart at the above so maybe just a vertical here from here we go and again another vertical line when the uptrend finishes based on moving averages you can use many other indicators for the trend which is not our uh, subject today you know to figure out what's the trend normally if you look at the chart you can see that this is a good option here anyway but based on these two MAs uh, we're getting option from here to here okay so now that we know we are in option we go and have a look at the uh, buy <coughs> sorry signals Again, let me make this bigger. You can see the first uh, buy signal, which is these two colors, red and black. Red is the uh, MA14 and black is uh, weighted close 14. Okay, so we are we getting a very nice buy signal here. So I'm just marking this again for you guys. Vertical line here. Yeah, you can see the good uh, signal. And I'm going to just mark as well the closing signal, which is here. Okay. Now let me make the above bigger again. Just want to make this a bit more clear for you guys. So you can see, uh, based on this, uh, just let me add, oh, I don't want to pull up the post, sorry. Uh, I'm adding a line from here to show you what happened, okay? So the indicator gives you a buy signal here. You enter the trade, stay in the trade, and close here. Again, look at this buy and sell. Then we don't listen to the sell signals because we are in an uptrend still. Um, we go to the next one here. You know, it's still good, but when we have a big volatility like this, things may change. Okay, so. To explain this, let me add again some vertical lines. Uh, okay, here you can see it gives us another buy signal, and the end of it will be here. Okay, I'm just gonna add the verticals above as well because this is a bit more unclear where was it okay here and the other one will be this you can see here still it works okay still work kind of but the thing is we experienced a very very volatile market that was back in 
uh, March and April last year in 2020, which, you know, after COVID hit and, you know, every uh, thing uh, got affected. But again, again, still not too bad. So just marking this uh, for you guys so you can see. So still we are gaining on this, but not the same as this one because we lost this much. We could have closed maybe here if the market was normal, okay? Anyway, but still we are in an uptrend. Just make this bit bigger. You can see still the green is above blue. So we are in uptrend. We go and buy again here. See? Yeah, okay. So we have another buy signal here and we can stay into the buy up to here. So as you can see, this uh, indicator works perfectly. So this one was very nice signal from here. It gives you just uh, marking this again on the, yeah, roughly here gives you a buy and you could exit here because it touches the line anyway then add another buy and again you can see here it gives you another buy signal and we go up to here very nicely we follow the trend we open a few trades and we are gaining gaining gain um Let's me see if we can find a false uh, signal in this as well. So when uh, we're getting closer to the end of the trend, normally we get some false signals. Um, for example, here you can see we get a signal and we, 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 uh, we should know that, you know, because two moving averages, 250 are getting close to each other there is a chance for a trend reversal. So you may just dis, uh, dismiss this one. But anyway, if even if you go and open a trade here, still is not that bad. So let me add this. Okay, we said here, we buy and goes roughly to somewhere here. Still, we're gaining some, but it's not a very good, it's very short, and it's not a good trade anyway. Then we're changing to the, sh uh, to the downtrend here. This is a buy signal. We just dismiss it. Uh, dismiss, you know, it's, we disregard this one, but it could have been a good one anyway. But because we are changing to the downtrend, we just disregard, and we don't take the risk, okay? Still, uh, but looking at to green and blue, two MAs. We can see that again, green is uh, going to back towards blue, and it looks like that another uptrend will be present. So um, that was all about, about this indicator, how you can use it. Um, that's another, uh, another average, you know, so, nothing very special about special about it just uh, the way it uh, gives more weight to the closing price uh, makes it a bit special so uh, yeah if you want to use this go and set the uh, set the indicators on a demo account and just uh, see if it works on your uh, pairs that you like, you know, you, you might practice this on Forex or on maybe even, you know, some stock to see how it works. Today we just opened gold chart very randomly and we started to check to see uh, if this indicator works, which uh, looks like it works very nicely using this indicator. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and you
we get ready for a new week and have a profitable week ahead of you. Just keep educating yourself and learn new things. That's the main key to be successful in Forex or any online trading. Have a nice day. See you later.